Do you want to learn how to draw this dolphin? If so, you are going to need something to draw on, something to draw your doodle with, something to erase any mistakes that you might make, and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. When you have all of those supplies, grab the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint, and let's get started. paper vertical it could be horizontal it's really up to you I am trying to make my dolphin kind of fill my paper so I am gonna make my paper taller to fit my dolphin but depending on how your dolphin is jumping you could always turn it horizontal but I am definitely going to be drawing mine vertically so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create kind of the top curve to our dolphin's head. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this curve. And when I hold my paper up, notice how it, this is kind of angled. It doesn't come straight down. It has, still has kind of an angle and the curve goes back. Now, leaving my paper like this, I'm gonna to try to draw this. We're gonna leave a little gap, maybe like a half to a third of an inch. And we are going to curve down a pretty good amount of our paper. So up in this portion is gonna be the head of our dolphin. This portion is gonna be the belly to the lower tail of our dolphin. Now this gap is for his fin. So you could go ahead and draw that fin in and just keep in mind, he's not a shark. So his fin is not going to be upright as much. Their fins are a little more curved and kind of have a little bit more of a curve going inward. Underneath that fin, that's where I'm gonna start my line for his belly. So I'm gonna kind of come in. And I want my lines to get a little skinnier here where his tail is going to be. And they just are gonna gradually get thicker into the belly here and the head of my dolphin. So let's go back to the top here and we can go ahead and draw in his little nose area. And just going to be uh, kind of like a duck beak. Then we will curve down. So notice how I have gone down pretty wide. This is a pretty wide area and I'm going to go a little bit more and I'm going to stop right about there. This line can actually come up a little bit. And this area here is going to be kind of like a cutout V shape for a bottom fin. And then we're gonna kind of double just the tip of that over here. So we're gonna show the other fin on the other side. And remember, this one's further away from us, so it does need to be shorter, smaller. It just needs to look like it is further away. It should not match this one that's close to us. We'll go ahead and give him his eye here. And I'm gonna try with my marker to draw in a little curved line for a blowhole there. And then right here, I'm gonna come back with his mouth. So, so far, we're looking like a dolphin. Now, I did curve this line in intentionally here, and I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm leaving this gap here. I'm gonna come up a little bit, curve out and down for the bottom fin. I'm gonna do the same over here, but over here, I'm gonna take off where I finished that fin and curve in as well. Now you can make a point kind of in the middle so you know exactly where your lines are gonna go back to so your fins are pretty even. Or you could draw a heart shape if that's what helps you. I'm gonna try to keep my fins looking a little more realistic like so. Now I have my whole dolphin drawn in. Now you can add in some fun waves. You can do whatever you would like here at the bottom. You can make them all sorts of fun and fancy. I'm actually going to draw in some fun swirls coming out of his or her blowhole here, because that is how they would breathe. 
I thought maybe that would be fun. And you can do whatever you'd like down here at the bottom. Let's just do, hmm, let's maybe come right about here. We'll do a swirl. And then maybe we come in the other direction and do one curved this way. And instead of going all the way across, we can just kind of do a couple little swirls here. Maybe add like one up here. Just enough to give the illusion of having some sort of cool water without having to do a ton of coloring down there at the base. So now that I've got my dolphin drawn in, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my crayons. And let's color in our adorable little dolphin. Look at how cute our little dolphin turned out and how super easy it was. You could have made him purple, pink, blue, orange, green, whatever color your heart desired. I hope that you had fun drawing with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.